Hey, I'm back. I'm back from Murph. I've had a few nights in my own bed, so it feels fantastic. I'm still a little tired. Uh, some other people have some con crud going around, but uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Sean and I filmed a bunch of footage at Murph, and we're currently putting together a Murph episode for the channel. Rather than wait for that, I'd like to give you a taste of some of the footage and, and maybe get some of your input to see what you'd like to see the most. I'm Joel. This is 3D Printing Nerd. Well, I've got my ear mic going, and that's because right over there is the G-Max, and it's printing something right now. G-Max is kind of loud when it's printing, and, and this mic would pick it up. So instead of using that mic, I'm using the ear mic. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. Giving you a peek at this footage is kind of cool because I want to get your feedback. I want to see what you want to see more of, what you might not want to see, what's awesome. You know, um, peruse the comments, see what people have said, upvote, thumbs up, reply. Let's get the conversation going to see what kind of footage you're going to want to see from Murph. <gasps> yeah, so I'm in Premiere and the footage is over there. There's Daniel Array and I were assembling the OpenRCF1. It's a huge car. It was fantastic. The audience loved it. Everybody loved it. Tons of people got pictures. It was really great. Daniel and I had a good time putting that together. Phase three, the assembly, will be out very soon. And this is Sean's x right color checker. Sean's a hard worker. That boy, man, I love him. He's making sure all the colors are right so he can grade the footage properly. I also had the chance to meet up with a bunch of people. Of course, handshakes, stickers, money for sale children's, and high fives were the norm. I gave out a ton of stickers. People donated a bunch of money to Seattle Children's Hospital. We have we have so much. It's really awesome. I'll hopefully detail that on a fan mail Friday, but for now, just know that part was cool. Oh my God. Here you see the open up RCF1 racer. Wait, oh, let's just, let's just hold it right there. I'm gonna back up just a little bit. There we go. I'm not gonna show you the full thing yet, but I want you to see this right here. It fits so well together. FedEx, unfortunately, did ruin some of the pieces. In fact, um, I wonder if you can, is it on this side? Oh, it's this piece, but on the other side, it did crack, and this joint right here did crack. So uh, we made our, we did the best with it, though. We did the best with it, so that's good. Really good. He's very relaxed. Here we go. He's this is Kelly. You know her as Spectra 3D so Art, and she does What's the paintings for everything that's Spectra so 3D, Stephen Jerry produced. Rub and buff on, that um, is and a Joel bot, and she's giving it a bit of a steampunk a flavor, details, and I think, metallic, um, uh, wax -based paint. I think it's so the right thing to do. I think it's awesome, and it looked great. Of course, there was Gordon and Anna from G Create, <laughs> and remember that thing that I showed in the video? <laughs> they actually finished it, and they brought it, and it looks incredible. You'll get to see that. What's next? Oh, this is this in best in show, you guys. Um, Garrett and Chelsea, of Chaos of Cortec, brought uh, the Iron the Giant. Um, and there's little Hogarth. Of 15, oh, little Hogarth. It and, splitting it up for the and there's the Iron Giant that poses like great. The, the movie's video. great. I mean, if you haven't seen the movie, go see like, the movie. They did a wonderful job with the model, and we'll get you some footage of that. There's Ari. Hi, Ari. So Heather and Travis have doing? Ari. She runs the You're Ari hurt. show. I interviewed her. She gave me a sticker. You'll get to see that. That's a lot of fun. Talk about it? Yeah, so Here's Lauren from Abuzz Designs showing off one of the open source ears. So she got a Murph ear, ear and the open um, source and gear on the right. It's kind of cool. So You'll... Just pop off. And it's Velcro. And it works out Velcro. great. The open RC race was a lot of fun. This uh, stuff, stuff with Kirby, stuff from Kirby. It's Kirby, anyway. It's Lulzbot colors. Kirby loves his Lulzbot 3D printer. So you'll get to see some of that race. That race was a ton of fun. The cars that showed up were wonderful. Uh, Daniel Noray and I did get to judge best of show. That's a little wiggly. <laughs> Other footage isn't so wiggly, so don't worry too much about that. We'll get you some, some good footage from the event. I did talk to Claire yet, from E3D. They had the their, their big four tool head changing wow. printer. I talked to Sanjay as well. Really Claire and Sanjay are both good people. Uh, I've known them for quite some time, and they're they're regulars at Murph, so it's it's always good to see them. Chuck had his Spool Racer 2.0 going. Jerry was pushing. Gave him the countdown. And... Well, that's it. That video clip ends right there. We've got some more footage of that. I don't want to, I want to leave it as a little bit of a surprise. You'll get to see some of that when we put together the Murph video. This was interesting. This is a glitter 3D printer. It's an SLS printer that instead of nylon powders, it's got glitter. And 
realm of when you print with glitter, it doesn't pieces, actually hold its actually shape kind of very well. It can crumble kind of just turn to super dust you duper easy. So but what you they hold have enough to do together to hold them together long is to get them show into it, show it. There resin, we go. Right? The glitter model can oh, be dropped in so resin. The resin hardens, so the glitter model keeps its shape, uh, and it's just surrounded by resin. So I don't know. Practical that is you'll get the chance to see more of that and talk to that gentleman here in the Murph video that we make But it was it was kind of cool. There was glitter all over the place I'm telling you Sean hardest worker. I've ever seen there. He is checking the color with his x-ray color checker We're at the th 3d booth Timothy Hoogland was there good chance good chance to interact with him talk with him um, they, He does a lot of stuff in the Marlin universe and the CR 10 uh, CR10 universe. He's a good dude, but we were over there. Sean just checking the color. Here's Bill the of Polar 3D. Bill brought the printer one belt. Of the cooler things that I've seen, and it was running. Good. How are you? Talk about producing this. these How little did? gliders and such. That was a lot of fun to see. I have. A, there's a rumor I may get my hands on one. I was talking with Brooke, and uh, Brooke said I may get one. This was awesome. Want, uh, Jim really, was really there with cool Filablend, and what's cool with Filablend, it's multicolor filament. So as you're printing, depending on the direct. The, the dominant color that Instead shows depends on the direction the print head is moving because the filament is, is multicolor. I, I guess I have some in a package coming to me, so I, I can't wait to show you that. I think that'll be that'll be a very popular thing. Some of the models that he created with that were just incredible. Okay. Well, there's Chuck, uh, as seen on YouTube, of course. Here's his Artemis he got from CMC and C, and he was showing off some Filament Friday filaments, which uh, he's been testing, so go over to Chuck's channel, take a look at that. I bet he'll be able to tell you all about it. This project is amazing. It's the Talking Tiki. So Jim Scuba, you've seen him on Twitter, he made this using Matterhackers PTG, Finished it up, did all of the robotics and the puppetry stuff, the songs. It's just, it's an incredible project. He's going to do a uh, an eyeball puppetry tutorial soon, and I'm going to be all over that because, I mean, if I could do this, but GMAX sized, oh yeah. I finally got and the chance to meet Chris in real life. So today's layer, 3D print, Chris, you know, his Marys. He was talking about how he used skewers so and hot glue tall, to keep the giant Joel bot from Skinny shimmying legs. too much so when, when like he was doing tall, it on a moving no bed or an i3 3D, 3D printer. The, uh, the Joel bot looked great. It was fun to talk to Chris. Uh, that dude is nothing but passion for this, and it's it's really really exciting to see that. Walter, also known as Country 3D, that's Country with a K U, has this fully 3D printed 3D printer. The extrusions themselves are 3D printed, and the models come. Well, off the machine are great. Behind. I think when I was talking to Walter, I actually said the proof's in the pudding, which uh, which sounds kind of country, but uh, you'll get to see a lot of that. Uh, that was really fun to talk to Walter and 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 talk about how he made that machine. Printed this was cool. Tony brought this this crazy uh, it, it detail it. FDM 3D and printer. This little piece that he's showing off <laughs> right here. This was more than 400 layers because the machine can print at 0.02 millimeter layer height that's that's not 200 micron that's 20 micron 20 that piece for the most part looked injection molded it was it was, it was crazy there's also servos on three corners of the bed to make it level and it was just awesome the bill materials the for that machine i believe is under 1200 us i'm really bed. curious so this, to check that out and to, layers. to see uh, if i could build it maybe Maybe I could build it. it Finally, we got the chance to talk to John. Like John and Sonny started Murph a number of years ago. Um, so we talked to John about how it started, channels, where it's going, what we, we can expect in the couple, future. It's always said, awesome talking hey, to John. One? But you know what? Let's, let's bring it back here. So that was just a taste of the Murph footage. If you saw something you liked, talk about it in the comments. Um, if you see someone already mentioned it, reply or thumbs up or something. Sean and I are going to be paying attention to the comments. And uh, that feedback is going to help us create the Murph video episode that we're going to do for the channel. Well, beyond all that, I got some stuff to do. Uh, I'm still a little exhausted. I think I'm going to go have some lunch. If you like what we do on the channel, please visit some of the links down in the description. Those links directly benefit the channel and provide me 10, 11 percent brighter, sunnier days. It's amazing how that works. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.